go. Well, this is Franklin Greenberg, otherwise known as Sneezy. So we started it over. So we said, what do you, what do you want to tell people about yourself? My name is Franklin. <laughs> My last name is Greenberg. I'm cute. <laughs> Anything more detailed? Yeah. Said, Erica said, when is your, when's your, when's your birthday? You're still sneezing on camera? April. You want a hint? Okay, you're on. Okay, thanks again. We'll just keep going while you're... Okay. We're going to take a commercial... Uh... No. So this um, segment is brought to you by Tim Hortons. Donuts, muffins. They have very good muffins, by the way. Drinks and, 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 and tissues. We're eating food explosion muffins, which they say they don't have, but Michaela said it's on the OG menu that you have to know to ask for it. Mm -hmm. So it didn't even come up on the screen, well, just so Starbucks you know. It's a secret, secret, it's a secret muffin. It's a secret muffin, guys, just in case you didn't know. You don't have to videotape me. I already ate my secret muffin. Papa has his right there. This is the girls. This is the band-aid. <laughs> So the gang's all here. Hello. I'm gonna go back to you. So when were you born? I was born. April. In a mountain by a long tall stream. I grew up in the creek and I had a dream. I got to the gate and then I said, St. Peter, don't you call me, I'm already dead. If you hear me coming. Do you want to go back to the question? <laughs> okay, let's, let's. Keep it going. So when were you born? You don't remember? We could tell you. Let me hear what you have to say. April 15th. No. April, April 15th. April 19th, 1941. How do I know your The birthday? man speaks truth. Because I always mix them up because Jennifer isn't the 15th. <clears throat> so what do you know about... man speaks truth. Father. So what was, what was it like growing up in the... He hasn't leaded. Lead what was it like growing up in the 50s and 60s? In the 50s and what? 50s and 60s. Did you were... So... Forty, you were born. So let's go to like the the fifties. Teenage years. Teenage years. I was born in nineteen forty-one. April nineteenth. In what city? In the Bronx, New York. Mm -hmm. I was a cute little kid. I'm a cute older kid now. I don't think I saw any pictures of you when you were a kid. No, when I was what? When you were a kid. We don't have any of those. I just have when you were skinny in your Komodo. That's the, the honest ones I think I ever saw. And in the Army. What school did you go to? What, what uh, school in New York? I went to PS26. Okay. I went to PS68. We were, we were far uh, away from each other. I was going to ask him what his first car was, but then I remembered he didn't have a car because he lived in New York. Well, he had, he had cars. No, and not in New York. He had other people's cars that he drove. What did you like about living in New York? I never really thought about it. It was just a wonderful city to be in. Yeah. Wonderful places to go to. Wondrous things to see. Great places to go. Excellent places to visit. Did you hang out on Coney Island when it was lots of fun back in the real days? That was in Brooklyn. Kids don't even know there, there really was a Coney Island and a Nathan's and all that stuff. 
I guess it's still there. But not the same like it used to be. So when did you go to the army? Were you 18 or were you older? In the army? April. I, uh, I enlisted in the armed forces. I uh, mean, how old were you? April 20th. So right after your 18th birthday? 1980. No. Not 80. Not in the 80s. It would have been the 60s. <clears throat> did you have friends that, that um, did you have friends that went in or what made you want to go go to the army? Do you remember? At that time there was a draft and I decided with the help and discussing with my family and my friend. You had a friend? I used to, but his name was Jay. And and you decided before they were before they you got uh, drafted, you wanted to just enroll, enlist. I thought maybe it'd be Ali. You said you never saw any action, right? You just which war? Korea, Vietnam. No, I was past the Korean War. Uh huh. Before the Vietnamese. Uh huh. And what did you do in the army? I was a uh, dental mechanic. Dental mechanic. But did you go in as that? Did you know that's what you wanted to do, or they kind of decided? Did they do like an assessment? They teach you, like a training. I mean, you were P1, I know that, but but what did what else? I used to be a lot. Yes, but so you were P1, but but how did you know that you wanted to be in the uh, to be a dental technician? Dental mechanic. Dental mechanic. How did that come did about? Did they teach you? Yes, I went to. I enlisted and I went to. The army. And they taught you how to do that? Medical school. That's something you knew you wanted to do? No. How did that, that's what I'm trying to say. How did that come about? I never asked you that. Actually, I determined that I would enlist and uh, go into the U.S. Army. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're gonna. We're, it's like the olden days. We're gonna have to do the Uncle Freddy that you're. you And keep going, keep going. I gotta wind you up. And they taught you a trade, and that's what they taught you how to do. And they actually. And they actually. Taught me. Dental mechanics. But you, <laughs> but you never, Dental you mechanics. never. Did you want to be a dentist or go into that, or you were more interested in the jewelry part of it? How the things jewelry, go together. The jewelry part of it. But did you have that? And I know that's where you, your career took you. But did you have that in mind when you were looking at dentistry? To look at how the pieces go together and stuff. And yes. So you had you had a plan. Yes. Okay, so I didn't know all that. The idea of working in the... It was because it was similar tools to design and make things. 
Yes. Okay. How long were you in the army for? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Three years, 14 days. <laughs> You should have stayed longer so you could have benefits. Okay. You missed it. You missed it by this much. How did you end up leaving? Say what? So how did how did you end that part of your career? Why'd you move on? Why did I move around? Why did, Why did you, you leave the army? By choice, like because you moved on, you just wanted to. Did you have to be in for a certain amount of time? Uh, yeah, I enlisted for three years. But they, they offered you an extension, and you didn't want to do it. Right. I wish you did. Because? Because you would have had, Erica's grandparents had people that had, you, you missed you missed the arm you missed full benefits by like a year or so. But you could have had more more benefits for things. Because he, he asked he asked me why that um why would I want to stay longer? He would have had. I mean now this, this is this is a good place. We like this place. It smells good. They take good care of you. But you could have had. So okay, I have another question then. So okay, then you met Cookie, married her, you got divorced. Fine, that's done. I know it's done. But my question is, how then, how did you meet Lois? What did you meet Lois? How did you meet Lois? Carefully. Carefully. Okay. Was it through people? I know the answer to this, but you can tell. I me. don't remember the answer. Through friends, Lois. Through friends. A friend named Lois. Right. Okay. Lois and Rudy Ashenbrown. They were Lois friends. And Lois and Rudy Ashenbrand. Brand. Rudy. Yeah, Rudy. Yeah. I know the Okay. <coughs> My friend of mm -hmm. 76 years. Rudy. 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 Yes. Okay. So you met Lois through them. And you were smitten. What? She wants to know how you, how did how did you get Lois instead of Mitch? Is what she wants to know. I'm just cuter and nicer. <laughs> but he had he had better gifts. We, we never did find that diamond watch. Where do you think it went? <coughs> You're cuter. She fell in love with you. How long did you date for? Oh my. Oh. What was it? Oh my. Grandma Lois. Forever. Forever? How'd you ask her to marry you? How? Uh-huh. I got down on my back. I rolled on the floor. <laughs> I rolled around the room. <laughs> I said, Will you, will you, will you, will you please marry me? <laughs> oh, marry me. Please marry me. Will you, will you, will you, will you marry me? You want to know why I sing? That sings, was it. Right? She was done. It was a done deal. <laughs> it was a done deal. She had to have you then. Because you were rolling around on the floor. <laughs> and she said, somebody that crazy has to keep me occupied. For the rest of my life. Frank. <clears throat> Frank. Here it is. <laughs> Frank, make dinner. You made dinner? I Every loved, night? Loved, uh, pretty much. Why didn't you teach your son? <laughs> He's learning. He cooks. She doesn't let me really? Cook, but she likes my meatloaf. He cooks? He made a good meatloaf. He does make a good meatloaf, but I make a better one now. Now she's in charge of meatloaf. I make a good turkey meatloaf. It's a weekly thing. But I want like, I want, we want to have Frank Footer and Bean Casserole no, and Shepherd's we're not Pie. Oh, things. Frank and no, Bean Casserole. No, 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 we're not having those things. Tuna Nua Casserole. Like, no, 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 no. I don't get to have any of those. those Tuna Nua no, was good. Any of those Bronx no, foods. We don't need those things. Remember the big turkey legs we used to have? Remember those big monster turkey legs? What kind of turkeys, what turkeys had those kind of legs that we had? They were huge. Fat turkeys. Fat turkeys. But what's your favorite thing to make for dinner? Oh, you he, he would just like throw things right. together. Whatever was in the fridge, so. whatever was in the fridge, he would make some kind of hodgepodge meal. 
We had corn pancakes one day that he made. He put, he just decided to put and cream corn in the oven. Was it Lois or was it you? Nobody really. Nobody. Well, yeah, okay, I can see that. Nobody cleaned, right? <laughs> Say no. <laughs> see, that's why you didn't teach him how to clean. He doesn't know how to clean. My classroom is clean. Every organized. He she, doesn't know how to clean. She cleaned uh, pretty much everything. Not really. <clears throat> Can you remember any um, any um, toffee and Oreo stories? Any funny stories with them, with the doggies? <clears throat> As a matter of fact, I was just looking at some pictures on the wall. I put those there. And it reminded me of some things that came to mind that just, that just sort of turned me on to to various things that you're almost there. <laughs> Keep going. Brought me to uh, give me a hint. <laughs> you're talking about coffee. <laughs> You were looking at pictures on the wall. I don't know where you were going. With it. You were looking at pictures. Of I. <laughs> I said, do you, do you have any good toffee and Oreo stories? I don't want to tell all the stories. Were those dogs at different oh. times? No, I think we well, We Oreo. weren't allowed to have pets. Isn't that like a Sammy? Where? In New York. In, in New York. Right, but we're talking about when you were in Michigan. Was I in Michigan? You were. You still are. I am? Yes. I'll be a son Metro of a Detroit, guy. as a matter of fact. I'll be a son Wait, of a guy. Yeah. yeah. It was Sammy. I got the dogs. Sammy. No, Sammy was the big... That was that was Jennifer. Later. No, but they had... I got the dogs mixed up. What was the, the poodle one? That's Toffee. Was it Toffee? Uh -huh. Yeah, Toffee white. was the little and one. And then you had white cats. Dogs. And Oreo. No, that's what they call it. That's what they call them now. The white crusty dogs. Yeah, those dogs are referred to as white crusty dogs. Cause, like, so how'd you end up moving to Michigan? Mm -hmm. like, how we wind up moving to Michigan? Like, those dogs. Like, I know that one too. Go ahead. I want to hear you tell it though. I know the answer. I think I think the TV went off. I I am cute. <laughs> I think uh, ooh, I got a little sex under my eyes. Time you're, for a facelift. Because you're old. Time for a facelift. Fix, you fix your oxygen thing. Yeah, it's not. You get you got one hook in the wrong place. Yeah. That feel better? Yes. Do you remember why we? How, how, how did you move us to Michigan? So we all didn't end up in jail. What you'll send us? The kids. Do you remember? Oh, that's. I don't know about we all oh, wound oh, up in jail. But he and his Trumpenick friends raided the uh, Holiday Inn and went I, swimming. That's here. I finally met one of his friends that. He is had a, friends? Yes, I didn't think he did. Real but friends? I, for real. Like, I finally met one of them last week. Remember Ed? Airman? Someone from his childhood. This is, with the exception of Scott, this is the first friend. But you've talked to Mike Walsh. He's fun. He's, he's a make-believe human. I, with the exception of one person, I this is the second friend of Jay's that I've met in thir 13 years. Remember Ed? Airman? Like, old friend. Old we went, we've been with the the dinner, we went to dinner. Yeah, we went to dinner with him last week. I met him. <clears throat> after, oh, nice. first after 20 years, I finally found first him. First time you ever met him. Yes. <clears throat> he, 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 a friend. he was a nice kid. He, is. he was very nice. Yes. We disappeared for a while. I reminded her that I said Ed, Mike Rocklin, and Mike Walsh both all went to Hillel together. 
And that's how I, I was just thinking about Mike Rockland's father. Yes. Shall I was thinking about the long Shall and Sharon. term holidays. How they went through something I couldn't go through. The holiday spirits in order to celebrate the holidays. Why, were they religious? Uh, somewhat. Somewhat, but they would... I mean, it, it could be 11 o'clock before they would have dinner. Right. Like for Passover, you're saying? Like for Passover, <clears throat> for Seder? We had a very, I don't know we, if it was... We had a very abridged Seder the other night. I mean, last uh, during for Passover. I don't know if it was Seder or or what it was. What were they just praying? Praying or something? What, why did they eat so late? Mm -hmm. Tell you the truth, I don't know why. It just came into my mind. Oh, okay. That I said I don't think I could handle that. Where's um? Where's the rabbi today? Yeah, where's the rabbi? Uh, Florida, I believe. Oh, he's away again. Florida. Florida. We saw Larry yesterday. No. Oh. <laughs> so where, Rabbi Raven was um, one of her friends. Um, My friend's uncle passed. passed away, and Rabbi was officiating the funeral. Out of Florida. No, here. Here, here. He oh. he has he has a flocking in uh, Huntington Woods and places, so he so he was doing something over there. He knew them. Do you have any more questions for him before we shut it down? Yeah. Were your kids troublemakers? Yes, that was one. That was one of the questions. Did you see it? Yeah. I mean, I know they were. They was were a troublemaker. No, was, who was he a troublemaker? I was not the worst. They were. Oh. Was he, did he have a temper? Did he have a temper? Parenting your kids. Oh, yeah. Yes. Me? Did he get good grades in school? Actually, he was... I forget who put his... I, fortunately, our kitchen cabinets, the glass panels were painted. Yeah. And fortunately, they were painted, which solved the kids from punching in the glass. Huh? What What did they do with the glass? They didn't slice their arms or hands or wrists open when they hit the cabinets. From frustration and anger, or something. Yeah. Uh -huh. Was me. he a player? Did he like the Did he like the girls? Was he a player? <laughs> Chase thought Chase thought girls were soft, lumpy boys. How about Lisa, Lisa Lisa Cohen next door? That's my girlfriend. Remember Lisa? That's did you date a lot? No. He didn't date a lot. Not a lot. Did the other boys date more? Everybody dated more than him. <laughs> <laughs> Doug didn't really have a girlfriend. I saw a prom picture, so I know at least he went on one date. Yeah. Really awesome tux, like super awesome from the 80s. It's awesome. I wanted that cream long, long tip tails <laughs> tux. I was looking cool. I was styling. Did you have a prom? Did you have school dances for a prom? Did we have school dances? Like a Sadie Hawkins dance? You went to an all boys school, didn't you? Oh, you did. High school was an all boys school, <coughs> but your college. Was. A private school? An all boys school? A what? Public? No. Private school? Too many, people, I got too many things. No, I'm talking to you. When you went, I'm sorry, when you went to the printing school, that was all boys, wasn't it? All boys, yeah. yes. He went, he was, he did like he was going to be a printer, too. He, he, he couldn't decide what he wanted to do when he was going to be a grown-up. So no school dance? I was going to 
major in uh, printing. Learn a trade and do it in. You wasted all that time. That's true. <laughs> I had, I had some good food. Good. At the Horn and Harder. Anything else you want to say to the audience before you sign off? Is this for my eulogy? It could be. I don't know. It's a when little I too die, long. It's a little too long. But we can use. I don't think anybody will is, sit through Is there that. some part at the end you'd like to say to people? Did you enjoy your life? Uh, having my family and all you guys around to support me. And as much as I think about you guys and all of you and the love that I share in my mind of you guys, it makes it all worthwhile. Oh, oh. because I'll uh, use that piece, okay? Because. Uh, Because it becomes all worthwhile. Going for those night coffees and... <laughs> no, coffees. Mexican Train, that was the Remember best. Remember coming over to play Mexican Train and... I was, I always beat your asses. That was the best part of it. English toffee. If you wanted English... Frank, get me an English toffee. They don't make that anymore. But I go in and harass them and just say, can you make... Can I have an English toffee? Just and I'm like, but I wanted English toffee. You have to, you have that to, was good. You have to be it OG. Was really good. At least Michaela's term. You have to be OG good. to know what an English toffee is too. That really was good. Because they don't make it anymore. But the French vanilla cappuccino, which is what you, you like, what you're having. You like what you have now. It's pretty similar. All right. So you say, say goodbye, Franklin. Say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, Franklin. <laughs>